Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be looking at how AI can now categorize and basically take over your bookkeeping in zero with of course a little bit of oversight still, but let's check it out. It's able to create contacts. It's able to understand the context. It's able to know the business and basically make the right decisions based on what type of business it is. And of course, at the end of it, it outputs a summary for me. So here we are at the beginning. And what I did is I added in two files, the chart of accounts and the account transactions. This is just so that the AI has a little bit of context on the specific business that I wanted to do the bookkeeping for. The instructions are, you are a Xero bookkeeping assistant working with a UK business. Your role is to reconcile transactions in Xero following this order of priority. Apply bank rules first, match transactions using preset bank rules wherever they apply. Best match in zero. If no bank rule applies, use zero suggested best match. If it is correct, there must be some sort of tie between the payment reference and the document reference. Professional judgment. If neither applies, use your knowledge of the business COA and its transactions, which I have attached to make the right call. Additionally, you can look to see what it was previously categorized as to make 100% sure. After reconciling, provide a clear summary of what you matched or cash coded. The summary should be grouped by category or type of transaction. State the number of transactions and the total value per category. Highlight any transactions that require any judgment or manual coding. Flag anything you are unsure about or that may require review. Your goal is to keep the reconciliation accurate, efficient, and easy for me to review. Once you've got those instructions, make sure to click save. And now we can start a new chat. Can you please go to zero? categorize the transactions, right? So now put in this prompt. If you have multiple companies connected to zero, you're going to want to specify the company name, but for now you can just say, can you please go to zero and categorize the transactions for business account? That's the name of the bank account in zero. Make sure to turn agent mode on and let's go. Okay. So I'm going to be speeding parts of this up. It's obviously navigating to zero to the web page. It's going to load and load and load. Okay, at this point I take over and I'm gonna enter my credentials in and I'm gonna skip this part of the video. Okay, it's got my credentials. I click finish controlling. It did log me out before it logged me in again. Okay, so I've given up control back to the agent. The agent will remember these credentials so you don't have to log in every single time. Okay, it's gotten some pop-ups to get through. It's navigated to banks. It's navigating to reconcile. Right, so the first transaction I thought would be a little bit interesting because there's no rule matching it. So first it's going to go to more details to see you know, what the details of. This is obviously an accounting uh, subscription. So I'm hoping it finds the contact uh, accountancy partner and puts it to audit and accounting fees. It's put in the contact details. Later, I'll ask it to fix this. I already had a contact for accountancy partner. So I'm gonna ask it to come back and change that in just a moment. It'll display that in, to me in the review. And I didn't have to tell it what account to choose. It knows to find the appropriate one and it found accounting fees, even puts in a good description. At this point, it thinks everything is ready. So it actually uh, gives me some feedback for me to approve. So here's the feedback. Okay, here's your zero subscription. Stripe It's telling you there's a Monzo business account. It's, it's a rule. And uh, basically they said there was one thing uh, that went to the 401 audit and accountancy fees, which with the new contact accountancy partner in the description. If at this point I could have said, yes, everything's good for me to reconcile. I said, no, go find the contact rather than creating a new one. So here we go. I said, uh, there should be a contact for accountancy partner. Can you please search for an existing contact rather? That's all I said. And it's going to handle it from here. I'll be honest, do not know what happened at this moment. I was very pessimistic at this point. I thought it had failed me. However, speeding up a little bit, it did this. It found uh, accountancy partner and uh, selected the new contact. So at this point I was happy with it. And I said, please go ahead and reconcile or okay each transaction. Left it to think a little bit. And there we go. Bam, okay each of them, simple as that. I mean, if you guys have an account that you need to do this for daily and it's all set by rules, you've saved yourself hours. I mean, if you're a CFO firm, this is insane. 
at the moment, there is no way to do this with an API call. There is no way. Same with um, QuickBooks. It's, it's very difficult to go in and confirm transactions. If you're able to save yourself some time and let an agent do this in the background, this is, this is direct money made because you've just got the agent working. It can go in every day. You could probably set this on a schedule, do the transactions, let you know, confirm it, simple as that. And this is only version one. It's only going to get better and better from here. So can you think in two years time, how good this is going to be for doing these kinds of tasks? Plus like, you know, we're probably going to be on GPT 10 by then. This is going to be on maybe version five, six, seven. It'll be done before you can even see a web page load for a normal person. Uh, the accuracy is going to get better. A little bit scary if you're in the bookkeeping space, but very, very powerful if you're in the CFO space or you're, you know, you're managing bookkeeping for clients and you can now do their bookkeeping at 10 times the speed for one tenth of the cost. So you guys like these kinds of videos, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Andy, until next time.